from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. If you are new around here, hi, I am Nicole. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for clicking on this video. Do consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy nail polish related content. I upload new videos every single week featuring both indie, mainstream, as well as boutique nail polish brands. If you are in fact a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? I hope everyone's having a fantastic week. So today's video is it's a little different. Is it a little different? It's nail polish, so not really. It's a little different. So today's video, I have a new polish from Sweet and Sour Lacquer. It's been a hot minute since I've had a Sweet and Sour Lacquer dedicated video, but got one for you today. So I'm kind of excited about this for two separate reasons. One, be well, because I love the brand. And the second reason is because it, this is a bit of a crash course in magnetic polishes. So the polish that I have to share with you all is by Sweet and Sour Lacquer, as I mentioned. And this polish is a Facebook group custom for the All the Polishes Facebook group. I think you will need to be a member of them to purchase this one, but I'm honestly not 1000% sure. So this polish will be available for the entire month of August on sweetandsourlacquer.com, which I will have linked down below. So this is a very gorgeous magnetic polish. Um, if you are near the brand, Sweet and Sour Lacquer is a US-based indie brand. Their polishes are five free, cruelty free, as well as being vegan friendly. Sweet and Sour Lacquer is one of my favorite indie brands, and I actually do have a coupon code for this brand. If you use code Sweet Nicole 10, you can save 10% on everything on the website. I will have links down in the description box to where you can purchase this, links to the social media pages of the brand, links to the Facebook group if you would like to join, and links to my social media pages plus timestamps. Um, I'm also going to be talking a bit more at the end of the video about magnetic polishes and how they work, just for in case anyone is new. Uh, let's just get into this video. Alrighty, so the polish is called Glow Up, and the brand describes this one as a purple slash violet blue to green multi-chrome magnetic base with iridescent flaky shifting from pink to orange to green and the magnetic particles pull a blue-green color shift. Glow Up had a fantastic formula. The base did not feel overly thick or thin, and I had zero application issues. I will say that the multi-chrome in here is very strong and color shifty. Like, this one looks really, really gorgeous. Both magnetized and unmagnetized, you will not be sad about this one. As far as color shifts go, I was seeing a green to blue to purple with like pink at very extreme angles for the color shifts in this one. So for this next portion, I'll be showing how to magnetize this polish. In this shot here, I am using an X magnet. Uh, I did two boo-boos here. One, I should have held the magnet up a little bit higher, and two, I should have used my X magnet that I didn't drop and break. <laughs> So you can see it did magnetize, but it wasn't like a super strong pull at all. And here I'm going to be using a bar shaped magnet. I feel like this is probably the most common magnet that is used. These bars are very strong, so you can actually put the bar underneath of your finger and polish on top of the bar and you get a really nice effect that way. I don't personally like that for myself, but you know, personal preference is a thing. This next magnet is my personal favorite magnet. This is the one I use for all of my swatch photos, and this is a ring magnet. I know you can't see it because my finger's in the way, but there's really no way for me to record this with you being able to see. But like, I feel like this one looks the coolest on my nail, so this is like what I personally prefer to use. So this polish is going to be a two to three coat depending on your own personal preference. I found that it was opaque on me in two coats, but I did use that third coat to magnetize the polish. So this is not going to be one of those magnetic polishes where you have to magnetize it in order to see the flakies. You can still see the flakies unmagnetized, but you can see them a lot better when the polish is magnetized. Nothing in here is going to dry down textured or be difficult to remove. You will want top coat just to give this a nice glossy finish, and I had no problems with staining. All right, so clearly I really like this polish. Like, there, we don't need to say that. Like, I love the polish. It's gorgeous. I love magnetic polishes. However, if you are new to magnetic polishes, they can, there is a bit of a, what do we want to call it? Work area? Learn, learning curve, there we go. There is a bit of a learning curve when it comes to applying them as well as to wearing them. If you would like to make the most out of a magnetic polish, you will need to have a special magnet for your nails. I have quite a few different ones that I use. From all of my swatch photos, I tend to use a ring magnet. If you've been on the channel for a while, you've probably seen my uh, ring magnet video where I demoed that one out. I purchased that one from Polish Pickup. However, there are a variety of different magnets that you can use from like a bar magnet to a arch magnet to an X magnet. There's a whole lot of magnets. 
And basically to magnetize the polish, you'll want to hold the magnet over your nail for the longer the better to be perfectly honest you really want to do one finger at a time so it's going to take a little while so you want to magnetize one finger at a time and generally want to hold the magnet over your nail for 30 to even 60 seconds depending on the polish i will fully admit i am pretty impatient and so like i have to like count the seconds so that i hold the the magnet over my nail when you're holding the magnet over your nail as the polish is drying you're basically keeping the line sharp so the longer you hold the magnet over the nail in theory the sharper the line on your polish will be however some magnetics the lines don't stay sharp and it's just the type of pigment that was used however for this polish in particular i did find that it stayed pretty sharp pretty nicely for example, I did this swatch wheel comparison of this polish using different magnets quite a while ago and like it still looks absolutely fantastic. However, um, once you go in for your top coat, if you want to keep your line as sharp as possible, you will want to magnetize again with your top coat. For my swatch photos, I did not do that because boom, 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 we are moving real quick. I will also say the type of magnet that you use also makes a difference in the final look of magnetizing nail polish. But my ring magnet that I personally love, for me personally, I like that one the most just because I find that it looks, to me, it looks really cool. And like, I find that if it looks really cool in the final product, I'm more likely to want to use the magnetic polish. Um, bar magnets are not my favorite type of magnet to use. I, I do use them on occasion, but they're not my favorite in the whole world. And of course, I will have links down in the description box where you can purchase these types of magnets. So for me personally, when I'm magnetizing, I how I paint my nails, I usually have my hand up like this for what I'm doing, and I magnetize with my hand so I can see what I'm doing. Another method on using a magnetic polish is to put your hand over the magnet and polish your nails on top of it. That's another really great trick to use if your hands aren't steady or if you're scared you're going to bump your nail. Honestly, I bump my nails all the time when I'm doing magnetics and I just kind of consider it part of the nail art experience that you're going to ding it sometimes. Usually it's not an issue. No one's ever said anything to me like, oh, you got a ding in your nail. But you know, it's up to personal preference on what you want to do. I have found that over the years, um, my preferred method of doing it has changed a bit. But always, I always prefer to have my hand up looking at, well not looking at, me looking at my hand like this so I can do it. But I also don't tend to polish my nails on a flat surface unless I'm doing live swatches. So this polish was really fantastic. I think it's going to be very easy to use for beginners, but there is a bit of a learning curve. And I will say that with all magnetics, due to the nature of nail polish, um, over time, say about 24 hours or so, there generally is the lines disperse a little bit just because nail polish takes approximately 24 hours to 100% cure. And that's regular polish, not like gel cure. I mean, it just, this is, that's what it's called. And so there's about 24 hours. So I will say that about 24 hours after you polish your nails with the magnetic polish, Sometimes the lines aren't as sharp. In my experience, it tends to vary from brand to brand um, and even polish to polish within brands. It just depends on the pigment that was used on how crisp a line will stay. And of course, you don't have to magnetize a magnetic polish. You can wear it without magnetizing at all. In general, they tend to just look like multi-chromes. I have found sometimes with magnetizing and magnetic polish that if there's like flakies or glitters or things like that, generally just flakies have the issue. Um, but sometimes even with uh, shimmers, that when you magnetize it, you can see more of the base color. And that's actually why I prefer to make magnetic polishes opaque before I go in with my magnet. That way that I have a nice opaque base and then I still have that really cool magnetic finish. You can, of course, also magnetize each layer if that's what you want to do. But personally, I don't find that the strength of the magnetic effect is any stronger if I magnetize two to three coats versus just magnetizing the one coat. I think it's more work and takes more time, so I prefer to do it like the faster way. So for me personally, I like to do the least effort <laughs> in my magnetizing. So that is why I only magnetize a third layer. Plus it's more opaque that way. So if you have any questions on magnetic polishes, feel free to ask them. I wouldn't say that I'm like the best person when it comes to magnetics, but I also have quite a lot of experience and I like magnetic polishes a lot. 
So one more time, this polish is available right now on the Sweet and Sour Lacquer website, which I will have linked down below. This polish, again, is exclusive to members of the Facebook fan group, which I will have linked down below. And there will be a special coupon code in the group if you would like to save some money. However, you can also save some money using my affiliate code SWEETNICOLE10 on that website and save 10% off of your entire order. I would love to hear from you all what you thought of this release, what your thoughts on magnetic polishes. Do you even like magnetic polishes? let me know down in the comment section. Thanks so much again for watching. I hope everyone has a fantastic week and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Sassy, he does not want to play with you. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Keep it calm, feel the night. We don't need to slow